As parents, we drill certain life lessons into our children from birth. One of them, always, always, always buckle up. Simply put, seatbelts save lives, tens of thousands per year. So just imagine one family's reaction to seeing their child hurt by the very contraption trusted to keep them safe. Maggie Vespa with tonight's You Ask, We Investigate. It was a leisurely Sunday drive. Open down the middle. Touchdown. With an exciting end goal. We are heading to the uh, Phoenix Cardinals football game. And your daughter was excited about that? She event. was absolutely excited, yes. Sierra Vista residents Joe DuPadre and his 11 year old daughter Adriana, whom we were asked not to show, had been traveling I 10 for roughly two hours. Adriana, in the back seat of their Lexus GS350, had fallen asleep, slumping toward the middle. DuPadre says suddenly she was awakened by her seatbelt pulling her back. She said that she was uh, couldn't get out of her seatbelt; it was stuck. Stuck, says DuPadre, and retracting inch by inch. He told his daughter just to unbuckle. She says, "I did unhook it. It's." wrapped around my waist. DuPadre says Adriana, frightened by the initial tug, had moved the shoulder strap behind her. So even unbuckled, the seatbelt surrounded her torso. Like Making things was, worse, was, DuPadre was, showed us the buckle, when released, had ricocheted to Adriana's other side and become knotted. So it had gotten wrapped around itself. It got, it got it wrapped around her. All the while still tightening, DuPadre pulled over, turning the car off to help. I couldn't even put my finger in between her, her stomach and the seatbelt. It was so tight. At this point, DuPadre saw the belt cutting into his daughter's stomach. He says she was having trouble breathing. Knowing he needed help, he jumped back into the car and drove to a nearby subway. The clerk, he says, gave him scissors. He cut his daughter out. These photos show the scrapes and bruises left behind on Adriana's stomach. This had really scared her. Adriana's mother. Michelle DuPadre. She goes, I, I was afraid I wasn't going to see you. And she just hugged me. And I thought, you know, I, I have a, a responsibility. I need to be a good mom mm -hmm. and get answers. Both the DuPadres and On In Your Side reached out to Lexus and to its parent company, Toyota, for those answers. What we found was despite this terrible outcome, they say the seatbelt had not malfunctioned. A rep for Toyota tells None on Your Side per federal guidelines when a seatbelt in their vehicles is pulled all the way out, it converts over to child restraint mode and is now an auto locking retractor, meaning until it is fully retracted, the seatbelt cannot and will not extend. The purpose, they say, to secure child seats or car seats. The function is detailed in the car's owner's manual, complete with instructions on how to cut a child out in an emergency. Advice which the DuPadres take to heart. They now carry scissors in all their cars 24-7, and they want parents to be aware. To see a child that looks like a boa constrictor just tried to strangle the life out of them is, um, is scary. I just want people to be prepared. We weren't, and it could have been a lot worse. Now, first and foremost, besides those bruises, Adriana is okay. That rep for Toyota stresses it is important for children to wear their belts properly to prevent injury, adding, quote, Toyota sympathizes with the DuPadre family, and we will continue working with them to address any remaining concerns. Lexus has since replaced the belt in the DuPadre's car. That auto-locking retractor function remains the same. As for those requirements we spoke of, all cars, it turns out, made after 1996 are required to have a lockability function uh, on them, but local mechanics tell us they have never seen an outcome like this. Such an interesting story. It was. Glad she's okay, though. Yeah. Absolutely, and sure. it's in the manual. so It is, so just be careful and um, carry something that can cut. Yeah, thank you, Maggie. Sure.